Hey guys, welcome to another Sims 4 speed build. This one's a dining room, and in my head I was imagining it in like a penthouse, but I didn't really have the inspiration for the rest of the penthouse, so I just <laughs> decided to build a new crest. So there's a little bit of some funny stuff happening in this build because um, at the end I raise it way far up off the ground to kind of get the windows to like look like they're overlooking something, so it looks really silly. Um, but it's kind of a modern dining room, and I don't do dining rooms a lot because you, you very much, or at least I do, I always say everybody, as though I know. Um, I have a tendency very strongly to build what I what I know and what like myself and my family and my friends do. And we are strong eat on the couch people. <laughs> um, we have like a dining space, um, but that dining space is very frequently also the um, dump zone for after work or the I have a project to work on and it needs a lot of space zone. It is very rarely like the dining room. And actually right now it is filled with Christmas stuff. You'll be seeing this in the new year. I am kind of pre-recording again because life has been crazy. Um, I'm finally getting back into The Sims. I talked about this a lot in the last video I just recorded. I don't know if these are going up in order, so I'm sorry if you're hearing this twice, but uh, I pre-recorded for the holidays and stuff because I knew it was gonna be nuts and I was right to do so because it got nuts. <laughs> and it's continuing to be nuts and I got a cold, which made things really hard. Um, oh, woe is me any anyway, right? But I was very excited because it, it, I haven't like been able to touch The Sims in a while and actually this was one of So I, I did I started a couple of big builds after I put up the New Year's videos to be scheduled And then uh, they ended up not working out and it made me quite sad and then I got busy and I couldn't go back And so I ruminated on it and it kind of became one of those things where I was like ah, I'm going through a slump in The Sims and rea in, in the reality of it, it I just built several or I started building and had to eventually abandon, abandon several builds that were just ill-conceived, ill thought through, right? Poorly thought through, if you will. Um, and I will probably go back to them at some point, but it was, it, that's all it was, is it was one of those things where it was like, well, if you had, if you had, you know, if you had thought this through a little bit better, it would not have been so bad. Anyways, but this build, I, this was one of those where I was like, all I want to do is a dining room. I just have an idea for a dining room. I don't want to do a big build. If it doesn't turn out, you know, it's only, about an hour of my life because I'm a very slow builder versus like one build I had put about 20 hours into and I was like there's no universe in which this turns out great um, because it was a, a real life to sims build and it's a, a real life build that's pretty uh, important to me personally and so uh, when it stopped working out it got personal. <laughs> Did you hate when that happens? Um, but anyways, so like that one sucked, that one hurt, you know, and then, uh, so with this one I was like, literally all I want is to just build a dining room and have some fun. And I think it turned out cool. It's different than my normal aesthetic. It's kind of what I've been shooting for lately. I've been trying to really adopt the actual Sims aesthetic and do, I guess, sort of like early, well, like late 2000s contemporary, I guess, you know, sort of the like, um... I'm gonna date myself, it's fine. The like Zoe 101 sort of like bright colors and rounded corners aesthetic that the Sims kind of shipped with. Um, I've been trying to really embrace that because my tendency is to try to make everything like modern farmhouse because of course that is what I do. Um, and I've been trying really hard to play with packs and things that I didn't give a lot of chance to because of school or work or whatever um, over the last few years. So like uh, Dine Out didn't get a lot of my attention and Get Famous got none of my attention, despite the fact that I love some of the furniture, the mid-mod furniture from that pack. Um, I have never ever played through like the Get Famous careers or anything like that. So like personally, when I'm not recording videos and stuff, I've been doing that and I've been trying to build things that fit kind of into those aesthetics and those worlds and stuff and go back to the base game, which I haven't given a lot of credit to a lot lately. Etc. Etc. And so uh, this build was the first one where I was like, this actually kind of looks like it could fit, like in one of those base game houses. Obviously, I use a lot of packs here because I'm really bad at limiting my packs. But um, the idea was sort of the aesthetic behind it would would fit. I did want it to kind of be in a penthouse. That's with the windows. And so for the screenshots, I do lift it up quite a bit. But um, and I think actually this wouldn't upload as a, a room now that I've said it because the platform. Which is interesting. I wish I wish there was a way to deal with that because that's gonna make a lot of the rooms I've built recently really annoying to upload. Now nah, I'm just thinking about that. Anyways, anyways, but yeah, life has been so crazy that there's probably gonna be a lot of little rooms going up on the channel because there's been a lot of things where I'm like, uh, well, and the other thing too. Side note. Uh, so you're seeing this in 2022. I'm still in 2021 at this point because I have a tendency. 
I like doing voiceovers. I like chatting with y'all. I really enjoy this. Um, but for some reason, my brain, like, I never want to sit down to record. I think it's because I have to have, like, a decent amount of quiet. So I have to actually shut my door and not be involved in things um, outside of the house or outside of the room. Right? And so, like, I love sitting and chatting with you guys. But the actual, like, sitting down to do it takes, like, some convincing. <laughs> um, and so I end up recording in bulk. So, like, um, the next few slot videos will still be probably 2021. Um, hopefully, if I can continue to get time, things are starting to slow down. Things got really crazy with the holidays, but I'm hoping they continue to kind of be chill because I was doing so much crazy stuff, I got myself sick. Um, but anyways, the Animal Crossing update came out was the whole point of me saying that <laughs> the Animal Crossing came, uh, update came out and the DLC came out. And I was very lucky to get my hands on the DLC. Um, I have a very uh, generous younger brother who is very... Um, very aware of how much I love Animal Crossing. I'm I'm still what a year and a half on the everyday kind of player, um, and so I got the DLC and I've been loving building the little like I've been taking it really really slow. I've been loving building the little animals, their rooms, and I think that's why there's been so many Sims rooms I wanted to do. Not necessarily whole houses, but like I just want to build a dining room. I just want to build a you know living room or a drawing room. I just want to build a bathroom because that's what I've been doing. Animal Crossing has been very very inspiring. I also have a ton of big builds I want to do, but I'm kind of like trying to wait till life calms down a little bit because like I want to do a science museum. Um, I want to do a library. I want to redo the book and bean, which um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, was like the third or fourth video to go up. It's a community space. It's a cafe with a book theme um, or a coffee shop, I guess, with a book theme. I want to redo that one because the concept behind that one was a second dining space, but we didn't have platforms and now we have platforms. And I really want to redo that space in such a way that it functions a little bit better because I loved, loved, loved the book and bean. Um, so I want to do that. I have one big house still in progress that's supposed to be like, I attempted a, a modern farmhouse from Pinterest kind of thing, not like a specific house, but I tried to capture that like black and white modern farmhouse aesthetic. Um, so I have a lot going on, but I just wanted to do little rooms to sort of just get the inspiration flowing again. So that when I take on these bigger builds, I don't burn out on them. <laughs> the screenshots are a little weird because of the um, the foundations and everything. But I've rambled now for about seven and a half minutes. Oh my goodness, about nothing. So I'm going to leave you here. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And I will talk to you all very, very soon.